99% of all the uranium produced in the world is used for one purpose, nuclear reactors. Nuclear power generation grew dramatically from the 1960s onward, stalling out around the mid-2000s. The global leaders in nuclear energy production are the US, China, France, and Russia. Nuclear energy is favored for its reliability, high energy output, and low pollution. It can produce up to 100 times more energy per unit of land compared to renewables like wind and solar, and so is seen by some as a more viable alternative to fossil fuels. However, detractors point to meltdown incidents like what happened at Chernobyl, Three Mile Island, and Fukushima as reasons to be cautious about nuclear energy. Despite a strong safety record, the stakes are very high. Still, governments and industries around the world are increasingly recognizing the advantages of nuclear power. The shift is clear through the growing number of nuclear reactor projects. For example, the UK aims to quadruple its nuclear capacity by 2050, and India aims to more than triple its capacity by just 2031. So this does suggest that demand for uranium will likely continue to move higher in the coming years. And we can also see the same thing from this chart, showing projected uranium supply in blue and demand in green from 2025 until 2040. Demand is projected to increase throughout this period, likely as a result of more developed and emerging economies turning away from fossil fuels and towards nuclear power for their energy needs. As for supply, uranium production is projected to level off until 2029 before consistently declining for the following decade, which would lead to a massive supply gap like what we saw in the 1990s. This drop in supply would likely result from underinvestment in uranium mining over the past decade due to low prices and hesitation caused by incidents like Fukushima. Not to mention that new uranium mines take significant investment and up to 10 to 15 years to begin operating. So unless existing mines can ramp up production or inventories can be drawn from, there's generally a significant lag in uranium supply response to changes in demand. All this means the sector is generally unprepared to meet the surging demand from expanding nuclear adoption. It's important to remember, however, that these are just forecasts and not guarantees. It could be that demand ends up picking up slower than projected or production ramps up quicker than expected, potentially through a new technological development. If these projections do prove accurate though, it could be the fundamental catalyst needed to drive uranium prices significantly higher than today.